Hello friends, today I show you how to download and upload file using Spring Boot. And first of all, you need a Spring Web project. I will use uh, the same project as I used in previous tutorials regarding our cars. And I already have a skeleton of this project. But if you create project from scratch, please make sure you have dependency in your Maven or Gradle for Spring Started Web and that's uh, all dependency you need just to be, be able to create controller okay now let's get started let's create controller for upload and download file let's call it file controller and let's add appropriate annotations as rest controller and request mapping A request mapping as file and since we're gonna use a lombok to auto wire our dependency via constructor i'm gonna add a uh, required arcs, arcs constructor annotation but if you don't use lombok you can skip this annotation okay and let's create first endpoint for upload file this is gonna be post mapping and we're gonna call it upload and we gonna receive a multi-part file and save it uh, on our disk. We're gonna receive multi-part file as request param. And uh, in this uh, controller method, we're gonna call our file service and save file. Of course, we will create our file service uh, in a minute. Let's get back to the service and create new interface and call it file service. And let's wire it here. And let's create method for saving multi-part file. And let's create implementation for our service. And we're gonna add service annotation. So Spring would be able to uh, add this bin to context and of course, uh, we're gonna save our file to our uh, disk. You can store it on any uh, in any place of your system. I'm gonna store um, this file in the root of my crude app example. For this, I create separate folder and I call it uploads. And let me add this upload folder to the configuration of my Spring application. And let me just uh, add this uh, as variable uh, as Spring property. I'm gonna say file path equals uploads. And in my file service IMPL, I'm gonna use variable uh, value annotation uh, to get property from my application properties. Okay, and we are ready to save our file. First of all, we specify directory as stream. And I'm gonna store, as I told you, I'm gonna store my file in the root um, of my application. So just to get the root of my application, I'm gonna call system get property and user dir and this property uh, system property will return me the directory of my uh, current project uh, and i'm gonna add this directory path to my file and this directory will uh, will be 
for example, uh, if you use, for example, Windows, uh, disk C, uh, users, your username, idea projects, uh, and crude app example, and afterwards it will be slash and uh, uploads. And that's where I want to store my file. And since I receive multi-part file, I just call file transfer to, I just transferred it to this new file, to this directory. And I need to catch resources, uh, catch uh, IO exception, potential IO exception, if for example, uh, something happen uh, in the process of my transfer file to new directory. Let me just write some dummy message for example if i catch exception i just receiving logs uh, this error and yeah actually uh, let me you know what we need directory and we also need a file name so uh, i can use file get original file name but of course if you want for example change the original file name for your you just need to uh, replace this file get original file name string with your custom string and don't forget about extension like uh, png jpeg uh, etc and uh, actually that's it let's let's try uh, to start our application and upload file okay uh, let's use postman for these purposes uh, we need to call localhost file upload Post request and pass uh, and path um, multi part file uh, as uh, the file. Let's pass it and uh, here is my postman and I call HTTP localhost 8080 file upload and I'm gonna use post and body is my form data. It's my file and instead of text I select file in Postman and I select files on my uh, disk. For example this one I prepared uh, just simple image car jpeg. Uh, I click open and I send my request. As you can see uh, we receive OK response. Uh, let's check our uploads. And you can see here's our car. It's it didn't pass to upload. It's in uploads car. Uh, why this happened? Because I forget I forgot slash to add slash uh, after my upload folder. Uh, let me delete this file and let's get back to our file service IMPL. And after this dir, I just say plus and add my slash. Uh, let's restart and check once again. Um, let's hit send. And as you can see, we can see our car in the upload folder. Of course, you can upload your uh, images or files in any folder you want. And of course, you can use this functionality to upload not only file uh, images files, but you can use Excel files, text files, and other files. It doesn't matter which file you are going to upload to your application. And let's uh, let's uh, uh, write another functionality to get file from the server back to uh, to the postman. First of all, let's create method, and we're gonna receive reso uh, return resource. It's the uh, Spring framework uh, interface uh, which represents resource uh, interface for a resource descriptor that abstracts from the actual type of underlying resource such as file or class path resource. That's exactly uh, the object we need uh, because we want to receive file resource. Okay, we're gonna receive resource. Let's call it get file. And we need to accept file name to be able to find this uh, file in our uploads folders. File name, okay. And of course, we need to specify directory. Uh, if we want to find our file in the same directory we uploaded it, 
we need to put uh, the same directory so uh, it's our dir folder uh, where we uh, get system property uh, user dir plus file path from the application properties okay uh, and what we need we need to create path equals path and get and we gonna pass our directory and of course uh, I forgot to add variable and I need to pass resource uh, resource equals new URL resource I'm gonna path my path to URI that's how I'm gonna get resource from my path I need to catch exceptions let me surround uh, this code with try catch okay and of course this time I'm also gonna just write some system message with uh, actual error and uh, once I received my resource I'm gonna return resource I can even inline my variable and in case uh, something happened I'm gonna return null for example uh, okay and what else I forgot to add I got user directory but I need to specify also my file name so I get plus uh, slash plus uh, file name and let's add this to my service and let's get back to file controller and create get method for getting my file I'm gonna uh, accept file name as path variable but you can accept it uh, any way you want as request param or as body for a post method for example it doesn't matter and uh, the only matter is that you can accept this uh, file so I'm gonna call my file service and get file and pass it with the file name to the service and I receive resource and I say if resource is not now okay if it's not now I'm gonna return something uh, uh, so the, I'm gonna return this resource back to the client and I'm gonna return response entity ok and body as resource but uh, since it's file I need to specify headers uh, so client would be able to distinguish these headers uh, I specify a header as content disposition uh, let me find this constant in HTTP uh, headers content disposition it's a special header to add uh, content disposition in the values so I put uh, attachment as a file name and I'm gonna I can specify any file name in this attachment I want so I can uh, for example if I have car name I can uh, change it for example to my custom name uh, in this header and my client will, re will receive uh, exactly the same file name and file extension uh, which I specify in this file name but uh, I want to make it simple I will specify the same file name and file uh, extension uh, which I have in my folder I need to 
pass uh, resource get file name and I'm gonna return content type as application octet stream Okay, I, this is enough to pass our file and our clients will receive uh, attachments uh, as our file. Uh, they will receive a file name. Uh, this file name will, will contain name of the file and extension of the file and our clients will know uh, how to save these files. And if my resource is null, I can return, for example, return uh, what can I return I can return response entity for example uh, internal server error uh, just in case something bad happened okay uh, but of course you can return any any error or any response you want in case this resource is null Okay, let's start our application and check how it works. Uh, we want to receive this SCAR JPEG from our server in our Postman. We need to call uh, get file. So we copy this URL, file get, and we specify uh, car JPEG and hit send. And as you can see, we received our file. Uh, if you check, for example, uh, in Postman, you can see this uh, uh, a lot of symbols, uh, but you can click on these three buttons and you can save response to a file. And for example, my file, hit save. And if you check in downloads, and find my file here it is here's our car uh, in our downloads folder uh, that's how you can uh, download and upload files of course you can uh, unify your files for example for a file name and file extension uh, just to be able to store uh, your custom file name and for example, to store only one extension in your uh, upload. For example, you want to store all images in PNG uh, extensions. So you just need to uh, put this uh, file name without extension. Okay. And of course, you can even pass your own uh, file name. For example, I want my file name to be one. Uh, dot png and instead of this original file name I just pass my file name and once I saved uh, I, I restart my application I upload my file uh, as you can see I stored my image as png and one and if I want to receive it I can uh, pass just my, if I want to receive without extension, I know that my server has unified extension. Okay, you can just change it, for example, from file name plus PNG. And of course, you don't need this uh, extension anymore. You just put this and you receive your car. And that's that's it for now. Let me check if it if it's saved. Yes, yeah, you can see one PNG and it's the same image. So that's it for now, guys. Uh, I hope you liked this video. In the next video, I will show you how we can integrate a file upload with our front end. And in the next video, I will show you different way to upload and download files using a base. Uh, 64 
uh, using this base64 we will integrate with our front end on react and but for now that's all uh, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and i see you soon goodbye